Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the various bits and pieces that make up a volcano. In other words, describe the anatomy of a volcano. If anatomy seems like a funny word to apply to a volcano, consider Cleveland Volcano here, one of the composite volcanoes in the Aleutian chain of Alaska. It's got a nice pleasing shape, sort of a cone, but what would we see if we looked inside this, if we were able to cut away some of the exterior and look into the interior? Well, there's a figure in the book that basically looks at this very issue. What are the different parts of a volcano? The first thing that you'll notice is that there's this central pipe or conduit through which magma rises to the surface. Once that magma gets to the surface, it can either erupt as a flowing liquid, in which case we would call it lava, or we could have it erupt as little chunks of rock, or it could exude gases as well. Regardless, what's bringing that molten rock up towards the surface is called a conduit or a pipe. The spot where it leaves the surface is called a vent. Just any spot on the volcano where um, lava is leaving the volcano and making it to the surface of the Earth. That vent may have a shape of a crater. Now a crater, is, let me sketch one for you here in the upper left corner. A crater basically is like a little pit or a hollow at the top of the volcano. It's produced through explosive activity. So a bunch of material is sort of blasted out of this hole. That's different from a caldera. We'll talk about calderas in another smart figure. Calderas are due to collapse. But uh, these craters uh, may be what we see when we go and we look at the vent in detail. Coming out of the vent, whether it's crater-shaped or not, could be lava or could be these solid chunks we call pyroclastic material. Pyroclastic material gets shot out of the volcano and then basically it rains down onto the side of the volcano, building up in layers down there. If you went and looked at those layers, this is what you would see, lots of little particles of rock and mineral fragments and volcanic glass. Now we classify pyroclastic material on the basis of how big it is. If it's really fine grained stuff that is easy to keep aloft in the air, that's called ash. So if you were to hold a handful of ash, it would look something like this. If you look at that on the microscopic level, you basically see something that looks like a little tiny piece of pumice, a frothy, glassy fragment. Larger than ash are lapilli. So in this picture, perhaps the rain of particles that we see dropping out of this ash cloud and falling down towards the ground, perhaps those are lapilli. So lapilli are medium-sized volcanic uh, fragments. Uh, in this case, we see some basaltic composition lapilli. There's a quarter for scale, so you get a sense that these things are about between the size of a, a sand grain and the size of a ping pong ball. In addition to ash and lapilli, we have bigger chunks, like blocks. Blocks are solid fragments that are thrown out of the volcano due to its explosive force. Here's an example of a big block. You can imagine the sort of force it would take to, to take that solid chunk and fling it through the air. There could be liquid droplets of lava that end up getting tossed into the air, and as they fly through the air, they cool down to become bombs. Bombs have this cooled exterior crust, which looks kind of like the crust on a loaf of bread, and they have an overall shape that's roughly like a teardrop. So the difference between bombs and blocks is that bombs leave as liquids, land as solids, whereas blocks leave as solids and land as solids. All right, the only other thing on this picture that we haven't talked about yet is this little sideways conduit that is uh, bringing lava up to a little vent on the side of the volcano. That little vent is referred to as a parasitic cone, and the material that's issuing from that parasitic cone is, of course, a lava flow. So we see a nice lava flow there. All right, so we've talked about a lot of different features on this volcano. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear the slate, and then I'm going to ask you to pause the video and test yourself on what these different features are called. So. Once I bring up the blanks, go ahead and pause the video. When you think you have the right answers, start it up again, and we'll check your answers. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you did. We've got a central conduit bringing magma towards the surface. Once that magma gets to the surface, it can erupt as lava or as pyroclastic material. It leaves the volcano at a vent, which may be crater-shaped or may be a parasitic cone. 
And if it is pyroclastic material that gets erupted, it could be ash, which is small, lapilli, which is medium-sized, or blocks or bombs, which are quite large. Thanks for your attention. This has been another smart figure.